Legend to the War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Rapunz de Leones, going up against uh, Cetra. He's got two full stacks, we've got slightly less than one. Uh, our army is obviously uh, a bit better than, say, one of his armies. Uh, auto resolve doesn't work, already tried that, gets completely wiped out. Uh, it is a choke point battle, so we certainly might be able to make use of that, but the guy said he's tried it twice and kept... Uh, keeps losing, so we'll just see if we can bail him out of this. It's fairly early in the campaign, though. But that's okay. So, he's got a pretty balanced army, which is fine for this early part of the campaign here, but usually what I like to do with Bretonians is try to go all speed so that we can just isolate individual units and just keep cycle charging on them. But while we've got slower units here, we kind of need to protect them. So the cavalry aren't going to perform great in a choke point battle, and we sh definitely shouldn't be using them to hold the choke point. So what might be the best course of action is to fight this battle in two phases. The first phase is just do as much damage, but won't succeed, where we just try to hold them back and obliterate them with the artillery. And then once we're sort of starting to fail there, we just withdraw all of the slow units from the battlefield and then just use the fast units to mop up the rest. My lord. Now, if we're going to do that, we need to be able to make a decent getaway. So all of their fast units need to be obliterated. Now, if they're coming in from over here, what might actually be better, rather than holding the choke point, this will be better for the artillery as well, we'll, we'll bomb them on their way over. Um... Because that way, when these guys here are low on ammunition or they're starting to overrun us, we can get them off the battlefield without too much trouble. Because they're obviously quite slow. Spearman at arms. But the downside is it could be better to bomb this area here. I mean, we can't see where Cetra is right now. Rapunz will be able to help hold the line. Usually what I like to do is just try to hold one area. Because sometimes, not always, they'll just go whichever way you are. Sometimes they, they just ignore you. I could put one piece of artillery here and another one there. But you usually want to keep them together. So, just got to sort of guess what we're going to do here. So, with 22 ammo, we should be able to use up all of our ammo before they get to us, because there's a lot of distance they have to travel. They didn't have any carry in it. Well, just in case, why don't we just leave, um, I'll leave these here just in case. I didn't, have, I can't remember if they got carry on. And, uh, we'll see how this goes. So, yeah, they, they got a free opening over here. Let's just, let's just see. Okay, I'm going to send Rapunz over this way to try to tie them up a little bit. So they blob up so that we can... Yeah, they don't have any... Um, uh, what's it called? Carrion. So we can do more damage with the artillery is what I was trying to say. Yeah, if we stretch ourselves thinner and try to hold off both positions, um, it simply won't work. We just we don't have enough troops to do that. It would be really good if we can get rid of the Cambrian War Sphinx. Try to keep them tied down as much as possible. Thin them out. It's not so bad if they cross. I'll use the cavalry to flank them. Really important that we take out the Cambrian War Sphinx. Also, because Rapunz has come over the other side, it's confused them. This is actually really useful. 
But yeah, take them out. Don't need all of them to do that though. But yeah, keep focusing on that Cambrian War Sphinx. Really important that we kill that unit. So yeah, they're racking up decent kills, one of them is at least. If we can distract them, get them to go around a different way, that could be good. Okay, the Cambrian War Sphinx is going down. Bounce power's not in our favor, but I feel like things are going okay to begin with here. Okay, Cameron Wall Sphinx down. Go for the fast units. That's it. Get them to chase us over here. Now we're going here. Okay, might be a good idea now to turn around and actually shoot from this distance. Can leave Rapance there for a little bit. Should be okay. Alright. Uh, the... Uh, your sharp tier coming down now. They're coming down right here. Okay, there's Cetra. Just ignore Cetra. Trying to defeat him is going to be pointless. Best way to get rid of him is his army losses. Okay, bouncer power's looking pretty... It's it's improving, it's improving. We're okay. Okay, keep some units in reserve. Okay, our infantry are going to falter pretty soon. It's going to be difficult to get them out of there. The main thing here is just don't lose the artillery and don't lose the cavalry. Okay, try to be focusing on this on those ones over there. I don't want to use her potion of strength just yet. It's kind of wasted on like crap infantry like that. Let's keep them tied down as long as possible. We are getting look at those kills, 500 on that. This is actually a really good angle to shoot them from as well. But yeah, we are starting to falter. What's this? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can fight that. That's fine. Bouncer power hasn't really shifted that much. Got a big blob over here, but... Yeah, what's this one here? Get that one back. Back a bit. Right, start pulling the archers back over here. Because the infantry are about to run away. It's going to be difficult to get them out of there. But now we need to use our mobility advantage against them. Okay, get Rapunzel out of there. Start pulling them back. Okay, it'll still take them some time to get over here, but I might have to withdraw the artillery soon. Get out of there, Rapunz. Basically, I'm just going to use the cavalry as much as possible to distract them, so slow them down as they're approaching here. Because they're all nice and blobbed up. We're getting loads of kills on the artillery. That's what we need to be doing. Get, get them back. See, I need to be getting rid of their fast units, like the chariots there. They're mostly gone. Let's keep falling back to about here. It'd be good if we can get them off the battlefield, our, our infantry, but honestly, they're not that important. So if they uh, if they get wiped out, it's not that big of a deal. Just um, It's not worth sacrificing the army for, you know, your worst units. So I'll do what I can. Using the formation is not particularly useful here, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, Rapunzel, you need to get back around over here. Probably not going to get as many kills as we were getting before with the artillery now. Yeah, you move back. I don't think any of our units have been wiped out so far. Keep an eye on a lot of things here. It'd be a shame if we lost the 
foot squires, but they're they're nothing particularly special. I distract them, go out that way. Yeah, the foot squires might get away. There's their other lord. Uh, Rapunzel will be pretty good at getting rid of him if he's isolated away from Cetra. But yeah, keep her away from Cetra because he's anti large. Okay, my ninja to charge over here. These skeletons are just about dead. Okay, now that you're fighting a lord, do that. And that'll provide a small debuff on them. Get rid of those goddamn chariots. Okay, Bounce Power is still not favorable. Okay, Hans is taking too much damage there, and we don't have any healing for it, so she got to get out of there. That just wasn't really working out too well. Bounce Power is slipping away from us. It's not the end of the world, but it is slipping a bit. We've still got all of our best units on the battlefield. But I think part of the problem here is that our ammunition is starting to deplete. So get over there. Get over that way. Yes. 750 kills a pop on them. Okay, yeah, starting to run out of ammo. So once our infantry and uh, missile units have run out of ammo, we just have to use the lies our mobility. Which isn't too difficult. Okay. I need to start getting some of these guys off the battlefield. And the knights need to get back around over to the other side. Just get a few more shots off on those artillery, that'll really help. Okay, we are just about out of ammo. Okay, we gotta start making our way back over this way. You just you can leave the battlefield now. It's been a bit of a distraction. Two as well. Leave the battlefield. Okay, that one may leave. If we can... Oh, that's going to be tight, but if we can get around the back of them there, that would be good. Okay, that's time to leave. I've got, like, one volley left on those archers. These ones here need to leave. I know it's tight, but you got to get through that. Okay, you're done. All of our ammo is now spent. So we got to get all of them, all the slow units off the battlefield. And get all the fast units over to the, back to the other side. God. I'm a bit stuck here. Yeah, it being a choke point isn't great for cavalry. Okay, but all of our infantry's more or less off. Okay, just gotta try to get away from these bloody spearmen. Once we're a bit more out in the open space, we'll be able to do a lot better. But we just have to get there first. Ooh, look at that bounce of power, that's not good. But uh, I'm not too concerned at this stage here, because we have done a ton of damage to them. They just got stuck there. I can't do anything about it. Cavalry gets stuck really easily. And keep trying to push them through, but, you know, like I said, they're, they're going to take a bit more damage. Okay. Now we're sort of time to pick off uh, isolated units that are particularly damaged. And utilize our speed. Uh, 
nice. Probably took a fair bit of, yeah, a lot of damage just getting through there. But, yeah. We were completely cut off. Alright, so let's have a look at how we're going. We've killed off the majority of their army, but they've also killed off the majority of ours. But like I said, our best units are still in play. Whereas we've taken out their best units. Can't be staying here with those skeleton warriors. Get here. If they can have a bit of a rest as well, that'll be useful. Okay, looks like we'll get out of there. Couple of casualties. Not the end of the world, though. Alright, let's get back across over here. That's it, these guys here got a chance to recover. How's Rapunza? She have she doesn't have perfect vigor, she could use a bit of time time to rest. Alright, all their fast units are gone. So now we've got the speed advantage, but they've got the number and just overall advantage. But we can pick them apart bit by bit with our speed. As long as they find isolated units. If we dump all of our units on like one of their troops, we can get them to disintegrate quite quickly. It obviously would be good if we could kill Cetra, but he's such a goddamn tank. It's probably best we just ignore him. But first thing, let's recover our fatigue. And with every unit of theirs that we wipe out, this will keep getting easier and easier. Okay, we're gonna start with this group over here. So I'm just feigning the charge there, because I wanted to get them to utilize their skirmish mode. No, don't use that now. So the penalty that we're looking to do here is the faster, stronger enemies nearby. Cause them to start crumbling. If we can get them to disintegrate, which is, happens at minus 50 leadership. Yep, there we go. It's kind of like easy kills. There we go, disintegrated. Good stuff. The great thing about disintegrating skeletons is that they don't we don't get stuck on them once they're dead. Okay, now. Okay, I'm gonna leave these three here and these four come over this side. Try to get them to split their forces up. I'd rather not have to fight the Tomb Guard Halberd. I wanted to try to inflict the army loss penalty on that, but if I have to, I will. I can still use some more time to recover. Let's try to lure it over here. Just give it some bait. Keep it as far away from their main army as possible so that they get the faster, stronger enemy penalty nearby. Um, yeah, help us to disintegrate them. That's it, just give them what seems like an easy target while these guys move out over this way. All right, that's given us time to rest. I really didn't want to have to fight this, but we should be able to. 
Especially if Rapunce drops this down on them. That'll significantly weaken them. These guys here are a little bit cut off. So we got to get rid of them so they send another unit over here. Give us an opportunity to get back across. Uh, actually, if you go around this way, you might be able to get, get back. Alright, let's pop this down. Said just do as much damage to them as possible and try to get them to disintegrate really, really quickly. There it is. And there they go. Tomb Guard just deleted just like that. That's what I want to see. Cool. Alright, we need to get some more units back over here. Unless these ones are going to get cut off. So we've essentially just taken out their best unit after we took out all their other fast units. They're cutting me off. I'm going to have to go back around this way again. Okay, we got a straggler over here. Let's go for it. If we can try to time it so that every time we go into a fight against one unit, that we can pop down the Halo of Maidenly Wrath. Because that just uh, really helps to soften them up right before we uh, charge in the cavalry. Don't worry too much about their archers. It's going to be a tight call. They're not too far away. But we'll see what we can do. This one here, just in case we need somebody to hold them back a little bit. Just like feign charges or whatever. What was that? Oh, so Cetra's using some magic there. And good, we disintegrated it. That's what we need. Okay, get back. Could even get rid of that archer unit, but it's not really that much of a threat. Okay, now we just gotta wait for the next isolated unit. And just pick them apart bit by bit. Really not that much of a fan of the Lance ability. Like, it's okay, but it's very rarely gonna make any difference. It's like a lot of stat boosts to stuff that just isn't really that important, I think. try something because this does do an explosion damage as well as a debuff so I'll charge in here pop that down and then just get out just get a couple of easy kills okay we have our next isolated unit it's over here a little bit more so that we can actually all right that, that'll do it. it's already just about to crumble let's just charge into it <laughs> tossing them straight into the water there I'm pretty sure if that happens they actually die yeah, that's a dead unit. Cool. Bounce of power is improving again. Just gotta 
give them a reason to separate. Love to kill that archer unit, but it doesn't have much ammo. It's not worth charging in there just to kill it. They're really trying to keep their army together. In this. Usually they'll send units out at everybody. But they're not doing that so much here. Let's do this again. That one there is getting isolated. That's good. All right, we'll go for this dude here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, this is in better. This is in better. These are these are way more isolated. Okay, that looked good. Knights errant! Hastily! And that unit there. Yep, disintegrated. Good. That's what we need. Are oh, they chasing that other one? Okay, we've got a clear shot on that archer now. He's a bit of a straggler, but he's still reasonably close to Cetra's influence, so he'll be getting leadership bonuses from that. Because, yeah, if we want to beat them as best as possible, we need to uh, just dump on as much leadership penalties as possible. And if Cetra's close by, that'll be a problem. If I just charge in there, we won't win. I mean, the bounce power's not in our favor. Let's get Rapance over here, just so we can keep using this. If anything, it's like, sort of like, free kills. It's better than nothing. Okay, you quickly get across over here. Most of the balance of power now is probably tied up, etc. It's just free kills. Really don't want to win this by timeout. I don't think I'll have to, because we've still got a third of our yes, time left, and no! they they don't have much. We've gotten them down to like one sixth of their total forces. Good, they're starting to isolate some units. Just encourage them to keep that up. This one here looks like it's gonna be it, but we need to get them far enough away so they get no leadership bonuses from their reinforcements, damn it. They backed off. Can't just rely on this, there's not enough time to do that. You gotta be careful about cycle charging against infantry, because you charge in and like, maybe four of your horses get completely stuck trying to get out, and um, they just end up dead, it's not worth it. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're not isolating their units. I'm gonna keep them all together. Because, like, we could pound on this one here, but because of all these other units here, they just won't disintegrate straight away. And then getting out uh, is gonna be very painful because we've got, like, no melee defense while you're trying to, with uh, like, pull out of a fight. And most of these are spearmen as well. And Cetra, yeah, he's anti-large. <sighs> this might be a bad idea, but... I'm going to try to uh, horse sandwich this one. And see, as you try to pull away, a bunch of them get stuck. With haste, immediately. Take the ground. Yep. Awaiting order. At At Making it, I don't know, it's just a, it's just a trade-off. And we can't afford to do a trade-off because the bounce of power is not in our favor. They can afford to trade off. Yeah, see these ones over here, they just get stuck. It's okay to do it if their units are of higher value than ours, but they're not. They just outnumber us. Now the power's improving, it's almost evenly matched. This side over here is looking good. Let's get everyone over there, and... I don't like that Cetra's there, but we'll just do whatever we can. This one here will do. That attack. Okay, I think we got this one here. Yeah, Cetra's fairly close. Got to minus 40. If Cetra wasn't there, it would have disintegrated, but. About to disintegrate. Come on, do it. No, it didn't. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, wasn't as amazing as some of those other ones, but we did get the better of them there. Stay there for a few seconds. Good. A few extra kills. Right, we'll charge in there. Hopefully do a bit of damage and i just got to pull out after it. At least they're not braced. Got a whole bunch of them crumbling there. Let's just, let's just cycle charge like crazy now. Okay, a couple of their units got wiped out. Okay, hello. Some of our guys will go get uh, caught behind, but that's okay. Found these ones here because they're already in a weakened state. You can just disintegrate them, be a lot easier. To get at this one in, in a bit. I am prepared. 
And don't give them a chance to hit us in the rear. Come on, keep moving. Move right through them. Yep, some of our guys are getting stuck. Bounce power is almost even. I reckon if we get it, can get it to even, the army losses will trigger. Because they had the advantage to begin with. We don't need it to be over to here to get the win. that good they're nearly full strength unit down to half strength almost straight away I gotta stay with oh that doesn't do a lot of damage to um, cavalry but still is not particularly good Almost gotten rid of all of his infantry. Command me. Repulse de Leones. At speed. Good, that one's isolated. It's almost evenly matched. Okay, and that one's crumbling, but still, it's it's all their balance of powers tied down in bloody Cetra. Alright, I'm going to try to do some cycle charging on this one here. I don't think it's a great idea to charge into Cetra. Because he's anti-large, he might actually attack me back on the charge. Yeah, good amount of damage there. But I think he actually hit me back as well. Do they have uh, charge defense? Let me look. No. I don't know if it's a good idea to charge him to Cetra, but he had his back turned. No Rick, keep moving, move, 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 move. That's not good. We lost a lot of bounce of power there. Move, move, move. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Um, I think we're just going to need to charge in there. Oh, you know what we should do? We should isolate. Yeah, cycle charging here is not going to work. Isolate Cetra from them. From this one. That's it. Ah, he's not taking the bait. They really tried to keep their forces closer together in this one. Damn it, I wanted, didn't want her to actually make the attack. But, come on, move, 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 move. Oh, she broke. It's not good. Lost a fair bit of bounce of power there. She might rally, though. I definitely can't send her into melee again. We just need her for the leadership buff. She should rally. Yeah. I don't really know what else I can do, apart from just have them go into melee. I tried cycle charging them there, but they're just not good at dealing with that kind of stuff. Cetra's still got the curse left. Bounce power's improving. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. Because Cetra's gonna pop down the curse and then the bounce power will go way out of our favor. Just fall back a little bit. Hmm, I've got to kill this guy here. Alright, what if we just send one of the weaker ones to just damage Cetra down to 50%? So that he can drop the curse down instead of... Oh, crap. I don't know if I can use that one anymore. Instead of all of them getting hit with it, only some of them get hit. Yeah, Cetra just doesn't... Doesn't really get hit by that. Try and keep Cetra away while we... Uh, they really want to keep them close together. S stop being smart, how dare you. Damn it, there's the fucking curse. It's exactly what I wanted to avoid. It's 
too late now. It's already been inflicted. Alright, didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay, that other Tomb King dude, he's about to go. You know, our forces aren't exactly in amazing shape either. Our problem here is our leadership. We just can't hold. They're too afraid. Um, what might help a little bit is if we can recover our fatigue. It'll just give us a tiny bit more leadership over them. I don't think that guy's going to rally. Okay, he did. He did. Okay. See, I'm going to need to keep Rapants close to them because of the leadership. Keep that one there. Try to get him back around over here. Just recover your fatigue first, because that'll be costing us, yeah, a little bit. I've got to get rid of this guy here before Setra. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Why don't we go for Setra first? All right. You're up. I really don't think this actually helps. I'll try and pop this down on Setra just so that he gets blinded. Did that work? Yeah, it did. He got blinded. Okay, Bouncer Power's in her favor. God damn. Really came down to the wire there, but it looks like we've won. As long as these guys here don't break. Okay, there's a goner. That's good. Come on, it's almost gone. Smite them. And he's gone. Oof, tough fight. Really, really tough one. I can see why you had a hard time with that battle. I mean, I really sort of went according to plan completely. I mean, we got so many kills with these ones here, but the problem was just Cetra. Um, he's just really tough to deal with. But there we go. No units got wiped out, so that's good. And his entire two forces are completely gone. Have them for a cause. Uh, Shouldn't ever... Oh, God, you're going to get attacked again. Oh, no, we're not in enemy territory. Um, yeah, probably could win that. Because a lot of the time, the uh, the damaged units count badly in the auto-resolver. Um, but probably shouldn't fight it. But if we if you don't fight it, we'll lose the Blessing of the Lady. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it shouldn't. Plus, it should be a choke point battle again. That's why it was important to withdraw these units from the battlefield, just in case we got attacked again. No point sitting there, uh, using these guys to fight to the death when they're out of ammo. Alright, well... Crap, all of our melee units are really badly damaged. Alright, this one here, and this one, they're sort of in the best shape. And I'll just keep these ones back. Bouncer power is in our favor, but I'm just worried that units are going to get wiped out. That's all. Might need to use checkerboard. I really can't justify sending reparts in at all. I'm sure that these cavalry here will have no trouble taking out the carrion. 
Wish I had done better in the previous battle. That way these guys here wouldn't have even made the attack, I suppose. These ones here aren't in awful shape. I guess I'll bring them up. Try to just get them into a nice big clump. Bouncer power's been improving. That's good. They're gonna get his shabs here as well, aren't they? God damn it. Very nice. Artillery's getting some great kills there. We go. Just want uh, Rapaz to go in and pop this down on them. Okay, the carrion are pretty much defeated there. If the archers have to tank some of this, that's fine. I mean, they're in the best shape, apart from the artillery. Okay, that's coming down there. And Rapance is really close to it, so if she pops this down, that should have affected your Shabti. Yep, it did. Good. Okay, Shabti are not great against cavalry. Out. I'm going to feign charges here just to sort of prevent them from actually attacking. Because what they want to do each time is just brace. Or maybe not. See, if I send these guys in over here, they're going to get wiped out. Better just keep the archers there. Okay. You're routing in the wrong direction, though, you fool. Okay, this one here, it's had enough. If it takes too many more casualties, it's going to get wiped out. The Ishabti are... Hang on, they're not wiped out yet. Just keep them tied down a little bit longer. Okay, maybe now shoot this. Send this guy in a little bit. What do you So yeah, we're definitely gonna win. I'm just trying desperately to keep our units from getting wiped out. This, uh, yep, that one needs to get out. It's too close to death. Bloody mess. Okay, pull all these archers back. Pull them back. I don't want to be fighting that lord. We should be able to inflict the army loss penalty without having to fight him. Okay, these two here need to stop shooting. We've used up half of our ammo, so it's probably not worth shooting anymore. Let's just get rid of them. Just ignore their lord. Nobody's been wiped out yet. Keep all the melee infantry out now. <laughs> just lure him away. Yeah, we'll just skirmish this guy with the archers. Okay, these guys here need to actually get off the artillery. Oh, look how much bounce of power we lose when we do that. We'll just get back on it in a bit, because I just I can't escape this guy. Okay, 
All the melee infantry need to get over here. Alright, I've got a handful of cavalry left. No, these, these two are done. Yeah, they, they're going for the artillery. The thing is, it only take one hit from this guy to maybe kill Rapants. So we got to be really careful. Plus, he's still got the curse. And we've seen that charging into them doesn't necessarily knock them down. Okay, split up. Okay, back on the artillery just so we can get that bounce of power. <laughs> He's not going to let us get on that bloody artillery piece, is he? Goddamn lords, we just don't have anything that's like anti. Where's where the hell is Henry? I feel like you should. There we go. There's the army losses. All good. I think that happened as soon as we got on the artillery piece. There, just drop that off. Yeah, he's a goner. All right, army's still, still together. No units got wiped out. Buddy, close call though. Again, it was always going to be a victory. It's just a matter of. You know, any units getting wiped out. Because if a unit gets wiped out, you got to go back and replace it. It's just a pain in the ass. To the flames! Freedom can be bought. All right. Looks like the turn is over. All the worst stuff. I feel like I just took out all of Cetra's forces. And this way, you'll get your maximum amount of replenishment because like if a unit gets wiped out it doesn't get any replenishment so if you have a look here um i just made you a fair bit of money but in the early stages of the campaign angry gods is actually better for growth the yeah you know a bit of bit of replenishment you should be okay to capture this if that looks like what you were doing yeah you've already actually is that their last settlement no ah oh, there's Enri. Yeah, he was just trying to catch up. Here, yeah, let me do you a favor. Magic! Oh, it didn't fucking work. Huh. Maybe he has to change his upkeep cost in order for it to, to do anything. Uh, yeah, because normally, um, if you do that, it replenishes all their health. Alright, well, that seems like that situation sorted. If we... If you attack over there, you've got more than enough to be able to beat them. They've only got seven units in total. Um, that shouldn't be an issue at all. If you need to, you should also it's be able to get some Regiment of Renown. Yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you. Bye.